you have this many sisters, you guys. Like, that's crazy. As you can tell, I have a big box right here, and I also have, you can't see it, but I have a big pile of clothes right here. So, for today's video, I thought it would be super fun. I saw a couple other girls do this as well when they graduated, and I thought it'd be super fun to share all of my sorority stuff that I have collected through my time of being in my sorority. This first pile that I'm going to start with right here on this side is my own stuff, and then actually the stuff in this box is not my own personal stuff that this box was donated to me by my big twin so like my aunt sandra because i did not think that i was going to be picking up a second little i thought that i was one and done not the case and i ended up giving a lot of a lot of stuff away i still had a lot of stuff when you're in a sorority you just accumulate things like every single quarter slash semester whatever system that your school is on so i still had some stuff to give to my second little but I still needed some help getting some more stuff and luckily Sandra had a lot of stuff. So that is what this box is. Before we get started, make sure to hit the little subscribe button down below and make sure to hit the bell next to it so you're notified every time that I upload a brand new video to YouTube. This is also in no particular order because I just piled all of my shirts together. So it's not in like any like chronological order or anything like that. And I'm gonna try and get through this as fast as possible because I had to turn my fan off for this video and our AC is broken and it's gonna be 100 degrees today yeah let's just go ahead and get started okay so for my first shirt i have this long sleeve philo shirt it's for our kyo zeta psi hallow week shirt so basically like for philanthropy events here um they're different at every school but here we have like week-long philanthropy events that each like chapter will usually host every year and zeta psi did this thing called like hallow week and so every like participating organization had to do like different like activities and stuff a lot of them also just like include t-shirt sales so that's what this is. So that was the first shirt. Oh my god, this shirt's so wrinkled. This is the second shirt. This was actually worn in a recruitment this year. This is one of our recruitment shirts. I think this was on Go Greek Day. So I think this was the first. Yeah, this should have been the first day. And I think Philanthropy Day was the second day. But usually when you go through recruitment, you get these shirts and you all have to wear the same ones when you're like going through recruitment as an active. <gasps> Oh yes, I love this shirt so much. This is my big shirt from when I picked up my second little Shireen in the fall. I didn't have like a specific theme that I wanted to do for her reveal like I did for Sarika for my first little, but I just thought this was so funny <laughs> when I was looking at Etsy and looking for like big little shirts and I was like, oh my god, I have to do this. And I did like, you know, the money socks and everything because like, you know, Cardi B money. So that's what I did. <laughs> okay, this one was also from um, this year. This one is our Make-A-Wish Swishes for Wishes philanthropy shirt or our like big philanthropy week event is we do this event called Swishes for Wishes and it's basically just like a big basketball tournament. So this was our shirt for this year's Swishes for Wishes. I Greg randomly picked this one up. Here's my other big shirt from when I picked up Sarka, my first little. And the reason why I did like a NASA theme one was because she is an aerospace, I don't know if she's still aerospace engineering because she wanted to do like both design and aerospace space engineering and I keep forgetting if she's double majoring or she's majoring in my I keep forgetting but anyways she always wanted to work for like NASA and stuff and so that's why I did the little NASA theme one so this was another wish week shirt we only started doing swishes for wishes last year so before that we did Kyo Casino and but it was still like a whole like week long philanthropy event like I was talking about before but this was our wish week shirt for 2018 so it just had the little like circle here in the left chest and and then on the back, it says, just wish it. Also, sorry, I don't remember if I mentioned this, but our philanthropy is Make-A-Wish, so that's why a lot of our stuff is like Wish Week or like Swishes for Wishes, stuff like that, because we support Make-A-Wish. Oh, this is my, okay, this is my favorite one, because like this isn't even like a Kyo shirt, but this <laughs> is my Sigma Chi puppy love shirt. I love this shirt so much. 
because I love this philanthropy. Basically, Sigma Chi will like just have a bunch of like adoptable puppies at their house for like a whole afternoon and you can like go play with them and like adopt one of course too. And who doesn't love freaking dogs? Like how cute. So our other philanthropy event that we do for the year is Kyo Cookies and that's always in the fall and it's basically just like an all you can eat dessert event. So this is a shirt. And Kyo Cookies with a little Kyo. So this was for 2017? Yeah, 2017. This one was our philanthropy shirt for recruitment this year. So you guys probably saw this one on my Instagram. Oh, I said my big wanted to be really cute and she got us, I forgot when this was, but she got us these matching Kyle Mega Christmas sweaters. And so she got mine in green and then hers in red. I think that's just so funny and like just so cute. And then we ended up wearing it to the holiday party together. So this next one actually isn't mine. This one belongs to my first little, but this is really cute quarter zip. And this one was like a very like stereotypical initiation gift that a lot of people would normally get because it has the crest on the back and you're not allowed to wear the crest unless you're an initiated member. Oh, this was another recruitment shirt. Okay, so this was another recruitment shirt. I forgot what year this was, but this was one of the other recruitment shirts that we had to wear. I will put the year in here. I just don't really remember. This one was our bid day shirt this year. You guys saw this one on my Instagram. You guys follow me. These ones are originally just plain white and then we tie-dyed them because our bid day theme was like 70s bid day theme, I think. It was super fun. If you guys haven't seen my tie-dyeing video, you guys should also check it out, but we just tie-dyed these ones and it turned out so cute. So this one was the first Swishes for Wishes tank top that we got. This one's for Swishes for Wishes last year and it doesn't have anything on the back, it's just all in the front. But this was perfect for when I was a ref because it was so freaking hot. This one's also not mine, this one also belongs to Sarka, but I have to show you guys this one because this one, I really wish that I bought this one. This one is just like this tan hoodie and it has Kaya Mike on the back, or not on the back, on the like front chest. And then on the back, it says Hi Omega World Tour, right? And then all on the sleeves, it has all of the like, let me show you. It has all of like the different chapter names of all the like Kai Omega chapters. And so I thought that was so cool because there's, it just goes to show that, you know, you have this many sisters, you guys, like that's crazy. But it's on, like it literally covers like both sleeves. I just think it's so cute. So this next one is my first family sweatshirt. It was a gray crew neck and then it has like this like marble design that on it. And then we did like a light purple stitching. And then my big being the extra person that she is, um, embroidered on the bottom is these little and then hers on her back said Amanda's big and then last year we changed our design for our family sweatshirt which like you can literally do it all the time but this was our new one I wore this one a lot it was when we we did it in a crew net not crew net we did it in a quarter zip and we did the light like the blue outline with like a floral pattern and then we did orange stitching so shout out to my big because I'm pretty sure she's the one that liked all this out I know she's the one that like pretty much did all of it and I remember I was so excited to wear this one when I first got it because I was like just in, like recently initiated when I first got it and I was so excited because it has a crest and so that meant I could finally wear it and I've worn it so many times it has so many stains on it I don't know where these stains came from but you know they're there now so this one is the other Sigma Chi Derby Days shirt that we have it has nothing on the back it's just this front one but for Derby Days like each sorority made like their own design of their shirt so that is what we came up with this one is 2019 and this was actually also the year that my first little Sarka was our derby darling i'm probably never gonna get rid of this sweater i call this sweater my alpaca sweater because it's literally like so soft and so like warm i mean granted i'm like literally sweating holding this right now because you know why but this one is so so this thing's huge. It's great because when I'm like freezing, I can layer underneath it. And it's, yeah, it's literally just my alpaca sweater. It's a great time. And then this one was our Kyle cookie shirt for this year. So it's just very, very cute. And it has like the little, you know, different colors of Make-A-Wish, but it's just like a basic tank top. I don't know why I have so many Derby Day shirts, but this one was, um, I think our first Derby Day shirt when I joined. So yeah, so this was 2017. So this is the front, just a little plain white tank 
tank top and then this is the back i've literally worn this tank top so many times i don't know why i just always have i put a nice little bralette under it and it was great for when it's nice and hot okay and then my big ended up picking up another little her name's tavian and for her reveal she got us all of these matching shirts um so i mean obviously like it was mainly for tavian but she got it for me and then for jenna too so that is why i have this one and then a huge shout out to maya because she gave me three of her old kayo stuff too so the first one is this super cute tank top and she was like oh yeah it'd be perfect be you know if you need to go to the beach and like a little cover up and i was like yep and then she gave me this really cute bag and then she also gave me this like just basic black crew neck and it just has like the kayo mega right there but it's so comfy and then i'm also wearing a kayo mega tank top for the sake of this video but also because this is my absolute favorite kayo mega tank top i've worn this every single day of my life i wore this the first day of school this year i wear it all the time it's just so lightweight and thin and so comfy but i didn't get this actually from my tractor i actually got this from UTs. Okay, so that is all of my pile of clothes from my own personal collection. <laughs> Granted, I obviously don't have everything that I've collected because I have passed a lot of my own personal stuff down onto my littles, so that is why I don't have every single thing. So if you guys see anything on my Instagram, that is why I don't have it in this pile. So like some of my old midday shirts and everything, but maybe they're in this box. I never know. It's like pulling out of like the magic box. You know? This is a Kyle cookie shirt. The thing that I don't like is that some of the older shirts don't have the year so i don't know exactly how old this is but here's one option <laughs> i'm not looking i think this was a spring recruitment shirt but this definitely looks like a sp it was the spring recruitment shirt okay this is just like a basic high omega shirt literally nothing else on it see that's what i mean it's like i want to know like what you hear that's from a lot of people got this when my pledge class was like for our like big little baskets a lot of people got this sweatshirt Oh my god, I remember getting this shirt in my big little basket. It is one of the old Derby Day shirts. And they did, I don't know why, this is before I joined, but it, then it's like, welcome to the jungle. Yeah, this was like the most stereotypical recruitment shirt. So you knew if you got a shirt like this, you were getting, like this is a recruitment shirt. <laughs> It was like literally, I think for like a couple years in a row, we had like this exact style with a little owl on it. It was before I came, but I just remember seeing pictures of other people's like Instagrams. See? See, this is what I'm talking about. This is literally what I'm talking about. But this has a bigger owl. I don't like owls, by the way. I, I, owls kind of freak me out. <laughs> Look at this owl. It's huge. But I like this color. Oh, look, what did I tell you? Another one. <laughs> oh, this is spirit jersey. Spirit jerseys are so I don't know why, but if you get one passed down to you or you can find one for tree, you get your hands on that. But this is just basic spirit jersey and you can't wear it because it says Lacrest unless you're initiated. And there's the back. Oh, this is my bid day shirt. This was when I first joined Kai Omega in fall 2016. So there's the front and then there's the back and it says North, South, East, West. A Kai Omega is always the best. Clearly. This is like our sisterhood, like all house retreat shirt. This is the front and then this was the back. I think it before all house retreats were overnight. So I think that's why it was like kind of like a slumber party, like pajama theme t-shirt, but they all used to be held overnight. And I think now they're just during the day. Cause I don't think we really have a place that everyone can sleep overnight. This is probably another recruitment shirt. <laughs> I don't really remember, but it's just like this little, this little basic black one. Very simple. Oh my god, this shirt again. Is that not freaky to you? Comment down below. Oh, 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 another one. I told you guys, I wouldn't be surprised if I pull out more out of this box. I love this tank top. I was so mad I didn't do a room as an active this year. The year that like we did this, these tank tops is look how cute these are. A uh, mint green with a gold foil and a tank top. What did I say? Another one. Oh, I also have these two hats. They're so cute. These little Kai Omega, this one, and then this one. It's a little distressed look to it. Very cute. Why do I have three of these shirts? Why do you two of these? <laughs> okay, and then it looks like this is the last shirt for this little haul pile collection thing. This is the Kayo Cookie shirt. I believe this was Kayo Cookies in... 20... I think this was 2016. I think this was the year that I joined Kai Omega. It just says Kai Cookies and then it says making wishes 
come true in the middle so it's really cute okay so that is it for my collection of all of my sorority stuff if you guys like this video please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up for me and as always hit the little subscribe button down below if you guys want me to do like more videos about like sorority stuff and like my life being in a sorority anything like that i know i did just graduate so if you guys haven't watched my graduation vlog go watch it but if you guys want me to do like more videos about being in a sorority or more like put like college videos like q a stuff let me know in the comments below i will totally do that for you guys i think i'm gonna do my big did like a quilt with all of her stuff and i think i might do that or like i might do something similar oh i forgot okay i forgot one more thing my big from my initiation gift um made me this really cute customized pillow isn't it so cute so she has so 1895 is the year that kind was founded our flower is the white carnation and then here's our letters here's a owl <laughs> my big and then where we are in california and then she also put my initiation date so i thought this was so cute i literally sleep with this on my bed every single night and also purple is my favorite color so thank you izzy but i also wanted to show that to you guys but like i said i'm probably going to be doing some type of quilt or like something else that i can just keep them around without like taking up space in my closet you know if i'm not gonna wear them so if you guys have any other suggestions other than a quilt let me know in the comments below because i am open to anything okay and like i said that is it for this video so please smash that like button down below subscribe and join the family and i will see you guys in next time's video bye guys